Hey guys, what's going on? It's JTech here, and in today's video, I want to show you guys an application that I've been using recently called SoftKeys. Now, this application allows you to change the look and feel of your software navigation keys on your Android device. Now, to use this application, you will need a rooted device, and you will need to buy the application. It's under two pounds in the UK, so a couple bucks in the US, so it doesn't cost you much at all. Anyway guys, I would also just like to say that I cannot be held responsible for any damage that may be caused to your device by using this application. Anyway guys, if you follow these instructions and follow the app as it tells you to use it, then you shouldn't run into any anyway. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, when I open up the application, I'm greeted with an introduction page, which, which I can skip. I'm about to tell you what it says anyway, so I can just go ahead and skip that. And I'll be say please read, I'll skip that as well. And what you'll see is it will do some loading and you'll get a ton of icons that you can select for your home back menu, keyboard down, and multitasking keys. So I'm going to select any one of these I like and it will change up here. So if I select a uh, let's say for example a pink home button, that the home button that was up there is now pink. As you can see the one down here is not pink though. That won't be pink until I select that tick button in which my phone will restart and it will be updated with the custom colours that I've chosen. So you can choose on a long list of icons that you've got here that come by default with the application. However, you're not limited to just these, you can actually swipe across and you've got a bunch of online galleries. So I can go select one like the HTC 1M8 pack and select that and it will download and then that will be set as my icon pack basically for my soft keys. So as you can see the pack I've just downloaded is now up here and to apply that I can just go ahead and select the tick there and it will then go ahead and restart and those phone, those buttons at the bottom there sorry will look just like that. What you can also do though is I can select save and that will be now saved into my saved configurations. So as you can see I've saved a bunch of them and to get back to them you just go to the one you want, select that and it will be there. So if I just show you what it's like to set one, so I've got one here that I customised myself, I select that button there, it will now be on here so you can now see the one that I've just selected at the top there, I can select the tick button, and now my phone will restart, and once it's finished restarting, those buttons that I've selected will be my software navigation buttons. Okay, so as you can see, my phone has finished restarting. So when I unlock it, you can now see that I've got a back, home, and task button the way I want them. So I've got the custom glow up that I've chosen, which is just the stock one, but I can change that to say, for example, a red glow, orange glow, or whatever you'd like. However, that I've just left it as stock. So if I go ahead and open up the app again, there's one more feature that I'd like to show you. I'll click skip and continue. What you can do every time it starts on, it will do this loading sequence, which isn't long, so you don't have to worry about that. Now I can just go ahead and select import buttons, and I can select any one of these I want. So I can select a new home button. So I'll select one for my photos, and I'll select that one up there. I'll crop that image. It's just a picture of TV, and as you can see, I've got a picture of a cushion in the corner there. I'll select that, click save. Now when I go back, I'll go to this list here, go to the bottom, and that image is now there. So now as you can see at the top, I've got a picture of a cushion as my home button. I can then go and hit the tick and it will be saved and that home button there will be a picture of that cushion. Anyway guys, that's been it. That's just a really quick look at how to change your software navigation keys on your Android device. Thanks a ton for watching guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really does help out a lot. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and I'll see you in the next video.